Hey everyone, this is Joel and I'm a trainer with Eduphoria and this video was going to focus on using the application Forethought. Our audience is going to be returning teachers, teachers who have used Forethought before for last year as their lesson planner. This video we're going to focus on editing your planner schedule. That means if you're teaching different courses than you were last year, this is the step that you're going to need to do. Again, this is something every teacher should be doing at the first part of the school year where you're going to go in and match the planner to the courses that you're going to be teaching for this school year. It's important to note that when you are working inside of your schedule and you're changing the courses, you are not deleting last year's lesson plans. So the changes that we're making in here are going to not affect anything that you created last year in your planner. So let's get started. We're going to go to the Forethought application and I am in here as my demo teacher and I'm going to make sure that I am on the planner tab and I'm going to select my lesson planner. And once your lesson planner is selected, you may have other planners in here that are shared or a team planner. You want to make sure to click on my lesson planner and then go down here to where it says change my settings. So I'm going to click change my settings and here I have the option for my schedules. When you click this it's going to show you what was your schedules for last year and in here what I can do is I can select any of the items that are in my schedule and access the different buttons over here on the right. If I'm adding another course that I'll be teaching, then I can simply add a schedule to go through those steps, and we'll do that in just a second. But for anything that I am teaching again, I can just leave it as is, or I can also remove that schedule. So let's say for this year, I'm not going to be teaching math anymore. I'm going to be teaching English. I'm going to remove that schedule item and it disappears from here. Doesn't mean my lesson plans have moved away or disappeared. They're still in the system. I'm just going to add another schedule for teaching math. So I'm going to click add a schedule and I'm going to give my schedule a name. Again, it's important to make it a distinctive name. We recommend you put your last name in there to make it easier if you're going to share your planner with someone else so they are able to distinguish between your planner and someone else. So I'm going to call this Adkins English Courses. I'm going to click Next. And now I can add in the entries. These are the specific areas that I'm going to be adding my lesson plans into. So I'm going to click Add an Entry. And this is where I select the type of entry I want to have. The choices are a course with learning standards. So this would be your learning standards that you can apply into your lesson plan. When you are creating a lesson plan entry, you can tag specific learning standards to that entry. I can also take a course that I was already doing and copy it, create a copy of that using the lesson plans from the previous course. And then special entry is if I want to have a part of my schedule that does not contain learning standards, maybe it's a place where I just put in additional notes or resources as part of my lesson planner. We're going to use a course with learning standards and then click Next. And now I can go into my district course tree and tie in that specific course that I'll be teaching. So I can click on here, go to high school. I believe I said I was going to teach English now. And I can select that specific course I'll be teaching and then click Next. It's going to tie in the entry name here. I can customize this if I want. Like I could add in for English one. This is ninth grade. It just makes it easier for me. It's going to show up on my lesson planner so I know what I'm putting in there. So I have English one here. I can add additional entries. So I could say, let's say I'm doing English uh, two as well as English one as part of my English section of my lesson planner. Then I can add that entry as well. I can also remove entries. So if there's something that I don't need in this list, I can select it and then click remove entry. For time, I'm going to click next. And you can see now I have my English courses tied in with my health courses. Let's say something is changing about my health courses. So instead of teaching health for grades 11 and 12, I'm going to teach health for 9th through 10th grade. Then what I can do is I can select that specific schedule and click on edit schedule. I can change this information here. I think it was nine through 10 and I can hit next. And then I'm going to remove that entry and add the new entry for what I'll be doing. It is a course with learning standards. And then I can drill into the course tree and I can pull that specific course over. And it's going to pull those learning standards over with it. Next. 
and now I've got that entry here. So I have updated my schedule. Once I have my schedule updated with the courses I'll be teaching, again, if you're switching grade levels, this is how you're going to go in and update those schedules. You'll remove what you're not teaching from last year. It does not delete your lesson planner. It just removes it from your schedule for this current year and allows you to apply that schedule for what you're teaching for the current school year. So I've got my schedule set and now I can click next. It's telling me I'm done. The last step is clicking this button way over here in the far right that says begin using forethought. And once I have that done, when I go to the date for starting for the school year with students, when I click on it, you can see it's reflecting the new planner. It's showing that I can select between health 9th through 10th grade or the English courses I'm teaching and then when I click on it begin planning now it's pulled into the grades that I'll be teaching and I can pull over the learning standards when I click in the gray bar just as you did last year and now the learning standards are gonna match the course that I'm teaching